Hello, it's Monday, and we are still in Psalm 37, and we will probably, well, I don't even know if we'll conclude it today. We'll see how it goes. But he's going to sort of bring his thoughts into a, a concluding exhortation. He's talked about delighting ourselves in the Lord, committing ourselves to the Lord, trusting in the Lord, resting on the Lord, waiting on the Lord, and not fretting and worrying and being anxious or angry or wrathful about the prosperity of the wicked. <clears throat> so he continues in verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of of peace. You know, there is a, a personal um, maturity development and life perspective that as you grow in maturity, you develop, and it is delayed gratification. Being willing to do without right now so that you can have more later. It comes to do with savings and and um, that kind of money, uh, financial investment, or even the investment of time and energy and effort to build a business or develop a skill or participate in a sport. You do all the hard work now and you do without now so that you can have the opportunity later to achieve something or enjoy something. Well, the Lord tells us in the Beatitudes, you know, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. He's quoting David. And the meek isn't people whose shoulders are slumped and their head is down and their toes are pointed together and they have uh, little mild voices. Meek means to be under the control of a greater power. It is one of the words used to describe a great stallion who's being ridden by a rider. That horse is meek. Horse is incredibly powerful, has raw energy, but it, it, it submits it to the one who's holding the bridle. So the meek shall inherit the earth, David said, but not immediately. That's where the patience and the waiting comes in. If you and I can keep the perspective that one day, not out of revenge or uh, anger, just at a perspective, the evildoers will be cut off. They will be no more. You can look all around for them and they will be gone. But the meek, those who are under the control of the Holy Spirit, those who are under the submission to God, those who trust in God, commit their way to God, um, rest in God, all those terms that David has used, those will inherit everything. And then that great phrase, they shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Have you ever been in a situation or a scenario or environment? Maybe it was a vacation. Maybe it was an adventure. Maybe it was a missions trip. Maybe it was a church service. But in something where you just felt everything was good. You had just an overpowering sense of well-being. Like, this is a good moment. I wish this could last forever. That's how David describes what you and I are going to inherit. We will delight. We will rejoice. We will celebrate in the abundance of peace and well-being and joy and contentment. So David's exhortation is to not to strive to get it out of the world and don't envy those who are getting it from the world because all of that will come to nothing. But those who are meek, who are committed to God, who trust in God, who rest in God, who delight in God, they will have an abundance of peace forever and ever when they inherit the earth. And that's the promise Jesus makes to you and me. So as you go through this day, let's keep that in mind. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you that you give us great, mighty, powerful, joyful promises that aren't just things that are dangling in front of us that might happen someday. They are guaranteed assurances. The day will come and we will inherit the earth and we will delight in an abundance of peace. Father, I pray you'll encourage every fatigued, exhausted, weary believer today. Help each one to lift their eyes to you and to draw strength and sustenance and grace from you. And may you bless each one who uh, listened to your words today. For we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Hope you have a great Monday and that the rest of your week is fulfilling, uh, joyful, and uh, an exciting adventure with the Lord. Wait on Him.